Alright guys, we got the duels off our tractor and we're unloading them here. Then we're going to go get some bales out of the field for the mixes. Got to do it very carefully, we don't want to damage them. We're putting these duels in here with our dual collection as you can see. So this video is just going to be a, a lot of random stuff, probably. Um, we're going to get some bales for the mix right now. We need to get eight of them, and we have the truck and trailer hooked up, so instead of just bringing them in one by one with the skid loader, we're going to just put them on the trailer. It's just, it's just a lot easier that way. So where we're getting our bales from is that 205 bale long uh, of raft bales here, that triticale. But yeah, we got some nice looking corn here and uh, this is our later plant of corn. It's already starting to tassel in some spots and it's very, very much shorter than this corn. So there's gonna be like no ears on that stuff. Uh, this is what the ears are looking like so far on this corn. Pretty tall. Definitely need some more rain again. all we have of an ear so far but it's all filled out pretty good yeah this There's corn will be okay this corn will be okay that uh, question yeah <laughs> All right, this right here is our new seeding that we planted this year. Before the rain we got, it was not even coming out of the ground. All right, we got a full load. We're gonna head her in now. Well, guys, we got some little piggies, too. Oh. Hey. What? Hey. Come on. Hey. 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 Got three new heifers. Never been up to the barn before. I'm moving them up right now. So these heifers behind me, we're about to sort some out, and then there's some younger ones we're going to move into here. Don't mess with Winslow. <laughs> We're gonna make him happy here. Yeah, he's gonna get some new uh, girlfriends. 
You know, oh, he's in a mood today. Oh, got the old kick going. My good buddy Mason here. Good steer. So we're, gonna load, we're gonna load some calves out of here, so we're gonna get rid of all this water. So then we don't get splashed with uh, poop and pee water. So as you can see, we got our tractor here without the duals on it. And we got the tire spaced out a couple inches. So they were, all these were on this spot. So they moved it out and yeah, they did. One of these did get cracked, but we ordered a replacement and it is on here. So everything looks fine, but we're gonna hook it up to the mower some of these hoses seem a little like these aren't supposed to do this so we're gonna hook it up and see if it works we'll let you know all right so yesterday we were messing with this tractor the hydraulics and stuff we backed it up we got one of the other hydraulics uh working so we can use the mower lifting up and down and swinging outside the side so that's a that's a bonus and the pto is also stuck in there we think it's never been out, so that's the reason that it's stuck in there. It's never been taken out of there. So to use this mower, we need the 540, thousands in there. So we've been soaking it with uh, some stuff and uh, we're gonna try to get it out today. So we let it sit overnight. It just, this is all that's supposed to come out right here and it just, it just stuck in there. So we're gonna try some different things and see if it'll come out. We're almost getting it. It's farther than it was before. It's fighting us. It is, yeah. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah. Here comes. Oh no! Oh my god, that's some rust. Yeah, it's rusty. Holy! But we got it out. All right, we got our tractor hooked on the disc spine. I really can't wait to use this. Testing out the hydraulics just to make sure again. Swinging in now. I'm gonna turn it on quick. That 540 we don't think's ever been in this tractor, so. Well, PTO works nice. Okay, now I think we're going to try the old up and down here. It goes down fast. Nice. Man, I can't wait to use this thing. Lights are working. Yep. Man, this thing looks beautiful on the mower. It, it looks awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. 